Hello and welcome to another arithmetic video with me, Mr Elliot. In today's video, we're going to be looking at long multiplication. In this video, we're going to look at multiplying three digit numbers by two digit numbers and then move on to multiplying by decimals. The timings for the video will be below in the description section so you can skip forward or go back to the bit that you need to help you with your learning at home. So here is my first calculation, 473 multiplied by 32. My first step is to write my calculation using the formal long multiplication method. It's really important to remember when multiplying numbers that you put the smallest number below the larger number. As you can see, it appears that we've lined up our columns with our ones and the ones and our tens and the tens. However, you will see later on in this video that when we get to decimal numbers, that this rule doesn't really apply. So step one, you're multiplying 473 by two. So we start by looking at the two in the ones column first. And we multiply two by three. Two multiplied by three is six. We're then sticking with this two until we've done all of the digits in the top number. Now we need to multiply the next digit in our top number by two as well. This seven is in the tens column. So it's not seven, it's 70. Two multiplied by 70 is 140, or seven multiplied by two is 14. We're going to put our four, or our 40 in the tens column, and we're going to carry over the one. Finally, we multiply two by the four. Four is 400 in this case. So two multiplied by four is eight, or two multiplied by 400 is 800. Remember from the two times seven or two times 70, we had the 100 left over or the one left over. So two times four is eight, add the one is nine, or two times 400 is 800, and 100 is 900. The next step is to multiply three by 473. Now this number here is not a three. It's in the tens column, it represents 10, it is 30. We are doing 473 multiplied by 30. So how are we going to show that? Well, the first step is to write a zero in our column over here. Writing a zero here ensures that this three represents 30 rather than three. Then we multiply as before. Three multiplied by three is nine. Now, of course, this is 30. 30 times three is 90. We've already got our zero there, so we don't need to take place value into consideration whilst we're doing the multiplying. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 7 is 21. We put our 1 there, or our 100 in the 100 column, and carry the 2. 3 times 4 is 12. Add the 2 is 14. And there we have 30 multiplied by 473. Our final step is to simply add these two numbers here. 6 and 0 is 6. 4 add 9 is 13. Carry the 1. 9 add 1 is 10. Add the other one is 11. 4 add 1 is 5. And 1 add nothing is 1. So our answer for 473 multiplied by 32 is 15,136. Let's work through this problem together. 221 multiplied by 53. So the first step, as I said before, was to write your calculation out using the formal long multiplication method. Have a go at home, pause the video and see if you can lay it out correctly. So I write 221, the first number first, and then 53, smallest number below. Like before, I start with the ones column or the smallest digit in the smallest number. So that's three. Three multiplied by one is three. Three times two is six. And three times two is six. Now we're multiplying by the five. Now this isn't a five, this is a 50, so we're gonna put a zero there 
to ensure our place value is correct. Five times one is five, five times two is 10. So we write zero, carry the one, and five times two is 10, add the one is 11. Our final step is to add all of those numbers up. Three add zero is three, six add five is 11. So one, carry the one, six add nothing, add the one is seven. One add nothing is one, and one add nothing is one. So our answer is 11,713. Here is the final three digit by two digit number that we're gonna multiply. Now in this calculation, 35 comes before the 721. That doesn't mean we lay it out any differently. We put the smallest number below and our biggest number at the top. Once again, we start with a digit in the smallest number, which is five, and we multiply five by 721. So one times five is five, five times two is 10, and five times seven is 35, add the 136. We're now multiplying by the three, but it's not a three, it's a 30, so we're going to put a zero to ensure our place value is correct. Three times one is three, three times two is six, and three times seven is 21. Finally, we add up our numbers to see what our answer is. Five add zero is five, zero add three is three, six add six is 12, three add one add one is five, and two add nothing is two. So our answer is 25,235. The penultimate question we're going to look at is 319 multiplied by 4.5. Now we have a decimal number. However, this does not change how we lay out our calculation. We write the biggest number on the top. And below, we're going to write 4.5, but we're not going to take into consideration place value here. We are simply going to write 4.5. You'll notice we've written 319, our biggest number on top, and our smallest number below. Now, contrary to what you're used to doing for addition and subtraction, we haven't necessarily lined up our columns. Nine is in the ones and five is in the tenths. However, we will take into account the place value later on in the question. We don't need to consider it now whilst writing out the calculation. So, like before, start with the smallest digit in your smallest number, which is the five. 5 multiplied by 9 is 45. Write the 5, carry the 4. 5 multiplied by 1 is 5, add the 4 is 9. And 5 multiplied by 3 is 15. Now as I said a second ago, we now need to take into account the place value. There is a decimal in this number to one decimal place, so in this number here there needs to be a decimal to one decimal place. We now move on to multiply four by 319. Now, like before, it's still really important to put the zero here. As we've now got our decimal point here and here, and we will need one here as well, we need to show that this is now four and not a tenth. If you're multiplying four by nine and put it in this column, you'll have had four tenths multiplied by nine. We don't want that, we want four multiplied by nine. So putting our decimal and a zero shows that this is now a four in the ones column, rather than the four in the tenths column. Four multiplied by nine is 36. Four multiplied by one is four, add the three, seven. And four multiplied by three is 12. Final step, add them up. It may really help you to write the decimal first. Five add zero is five. Nine add six is 15, carry the one. Five add seven, add one is 13. 2 add 1 add 1 is 4, 1 add nothing is 1. So the answer to 319 multiplied by 4.5 is 1,435.5. Here is the final question we're going to go through, 3.4 multiplied by 617. So first step is always write out your calculation using the long multiplication method. We put our biggest number on top and our smallest number below. ensuring we still have that decimal point in. We start with the smallest digit in the smallest number. Four multiplied by seven is 28. Four multiplied by one is four, add the two is six. And 
and 4, multiplied by 6 is 24. Now, like I said before, the decimal is in there. It's 3.4, not 34, so we need to put our decimal to one decimal point, just like it is in the question. Then we multiply the 3 by 617, remembering to put our 0 to show our place value and our decimal. 3 times 7 is 21, so write the 1 carry the 2. 3 times 1 is 3, add the 2 is 5. The 3 multiplied by 6 is 18. Final step, add up your numbers. 8 add 0 is 8, put on our decimal. 6 add 1 is 7, 4 add 5 is 9, 8 add 2 is 10, and 1 add 1 is 2. So 3.4 multiplied by 617 is 2,097.8.